Hi everyone, uh, I've just got home from work, it's Monday, um, I thought I'd pop on and quickly talk to you before I go and fetch the boys. I have um, the hedgehoggy part, uh, the fuzzy part of the hedgehog. This was, um, well it wasn't too hard to do but I, I was roughly aiming for stitches, I don't know. So I've used a four and a half mil hook on this. Um, as I said, I didn't want it too gappy, and with using Red Hot Super Saver, I thought it was going to be bigger than the, you know, this is thicker than this. Uh, and as it turns out, I think I've got like two more rows to decrease, and then we're done. So, yeah, this isn't big enough. So I don't know whether to double strand this or to try using some Bernat blanket and do it really tight, or to go with this again and do it on a bigger hook. So I've got some faffing to do. This is the second time I've made this. I started with a 3.75mm hook and went up to a four and a half, which is the same as I use for this. But it's it's a little uh, holier than I'd like, ideally. Um, but I think it's going to be hard to ma balance it between, if I double this, I'm going to have to use a smaller hook and crochet really tight because it will obviously make it double thickness. I don't know. So I'm going to have, you know, play about a bit and I'll let you know how it goes. Uh, I haven't started anything else. Um, yeah, work was fairly busy, but I got I got quite caught up. It wasn't as manic today. Um, I've got training tomorrow, which is a pain in the bum. So I need to get there a little bit early to just do some bits I need because it's two and a half hour training. Mm. So management fundamental process management fundamentals or something like that and we've all got to do it so half of our office have already done it my boss is back or my uh supervisor is back from south africa tomorrow so she'll be in at the deep end because it's just it always is when you're back from holiday isn't it it's always like you get stressed before you go on holiday getting trying to get ahead and then you come back and it's like you just got to catch up so Anywho, that's how I'm doing so far today. How are you? Are you all right? I'm all right. Um, I've got to go and get the boys and then do some exercise because uh, I'm putting to bed tonight so I can't go to the gym. I'm having curry for tea so it's never a good idea to rush your curry and then go to the gym because your breath's a little bit pongy and don't really think it's very fair to go and breathe curry breath all over people. I'll stay here and breathe curry breath all over Paul because he's, he's going to eat the same. So. Uh, and he doesn't have a choice. He's <laughs> he's like, have you eaten something stinky? Yup. Anyway, so I'm going to go and get my jeans on and then go and get the boys and see if it rains. Um, in the five minutes I've got until I leave, see if it, it rains. It usually does. It was raining this morning. Jack was like, why is it raining? I said, it's because you're back at school. <laughs> um, but yeah. So I will try and film a little snippet later to tell you how I got on. The lighting will probably be blah, 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 probably be bad because it'll be dark. So I'll have to be in a room with a lamp on or something. But um, yes, hopefully I'll have some progress. This is lovely. It's not the easiest to work with, but like I say, I was just kind of aiming for stitches and you can you can fudge it because you can't see. Probably got stitches all over the place, but you know, if I got to the end and I hadn't got the right number of, I hadn't counted to the right number, I said, ah, just stick another one in. So it looks alright. It's lovely and soft. It's so so nice to to hold. And the pattern on the ball bands for baby booties. Oh, lovely. Uh, and the chap at work whose wife was pregnant. She was going to be induced last Monday. Then she was going to be induced. I think they started inducing her on Friday. She had baby Saturday evening. Oof. Um, hopefully she was epiduraled up and didn't feel anything. Just tired, I suppose. Um, Alfie William. Oh, and he looks adorable. So I think he was £7.12. Um, which is good because his dad's massive. He's about six foot four. Uh, the chap at work is. So, uh, yeah. Big. Anywho, so yeah, I can't wait to meet him. Uh, he's the one I made the lotus flower, the grey lotus flower blanket for. Jenny. Hi, Jenny. Uh, Jenny's crochet zone. She's working on a lotus flower blanket in like the gnome uh, cakes. Oh, it's beautiful. 
I love those colours as well. And it's a lovely pattern. So if you haven't tried the Lotus Flower Blanket by Hooked by Robin, I'll link it below. Give it a try. It's a good blanket and quite addictive. And once you learn how to stagger the increases, which she did brilliantly. Um, so yay, Robin. Um, Robin has the blankets that I want to make all of them. I haven't made a blanket in a while. Um, uh, the blanket I was making for Christmas has been put to one side, so uh, yeah, no time at the minute. But. Anyway, I'm really going. I was going like two minutes ago. I'm going. I will talk to you in a bit. Bye. Hi everyone. Uh, it's now six o'clock. I have tiny progress. Tiny. Nothing really much to mention. We're trying again. This is still Red Heart Super Saver, but it's held double, and I'm using. Three and a half mil hook. Oh, it's a little bit tough going. This is like seriously would stand up, you know, on its own. It's it's tough. Um, it's nice and thick. Um, I think this size will be better. I did start trying to use the nap blanket in. Is it vintage white? Yeah, I think so. Um, I had a ball left over from when I made the sheep. Big sheep and the little sheep. I have chubby sheep. Um, excuse me, that was my phone going off. Um, I just realised, where's my watch? My phone goes, and if my watch doesn't buzz, I'm like, where is it? Um, I was going, yes, but that blanket. Um, but trying to use a small hook with it was just bad. Just not fun at all. Um, so I'm going to carry on with this. I think I've got... One more row maybe and then decrease and we'll see how it is size wise to go with the, the back part of the hedgehog I've made. And then hopefully it'll be over. It's a very quick pattern if you don't do it like three times like I did. So, um, But yeah, so hopefully I'll have a finish to show you uh, tomorrow. Fingers crossed because I don't want to keep faffing with this thing. I mean one of those that looks really cute. I don't ever want to make it again and I've got four balls of the yarn left. Oh well, um, it's for my sister's neighbour who um, kept pet hedgehogs and one has recently passed away and she's very sad about it so she asked me if I could make her a hedgehog because she wants to include it in her birthday present at the end of the month or something like that so it's a nice thing to do so she will hopefully really like it if it doesn't drive me absolutely up the wall before I get it done. Um, that's it really, I didn't get to exercise because the exercise uh, video program I wanted to do has been deleted off the pen drive that I usually use, that I plugged into the telly, so I need to uh, sort it again. Because we had it on DVD and then we moved the DVD player, so I tend to use it on a pen drive instead. And it's been deleted to put Tobin and Ten work on there, so I hope we still have it, I can put it back on. Um, That'd be a bit miffed if not, but um, so I'll definitely have to go to the gym tomorrow. I could really be at the gym now, but like I said, curry breath and kind of lost the momentum when I couldn't find, you know, when I plugged my pen drive in and it wasn't there. I thought, so I did a few weights on my arms and stuff like that, and then thought, no. But I'm quite tempted to go and have a bath now and just relax a bit. I'm feeling a little bit stressed because we've got um my granddad's been in and out of hospital and you know just just stuff. Um I think he's okay for the most part. Trying to get information out of my family is like pulling teeth. Um so I spoke to his home, uh his his nursing home and got told he was in hospital and then my dad didn't know anything about it, but my uncle did, but my uncle hadn't spoken to my dad, and da 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 So, I'm just trying to, you know, get some details and see how he is, but, um, yeah, he's got a, uh, he started with a chest infection, and he's got a hiatus hernia now, um, so I think they're monitoring him, but there was talk of putting a feeding tube in, because they're not going to operate on him, I don't think, he's 90, he's nearly 91. Uh, his birthday's on the 25th of November, so, uh, November, 20, yeah, 25th of November. For some reason, my brain thought I said February. Anyway, yeah, it's, um, so with him being poorly, you know, having a chest infection as well, they don't want to operate, you know, while he's already weak. Um, 
so yeah it's just just you know stuff like that plays on your mind i can't i can't do anything you know can't particularly get to visit him while i'm at work i tried to go see him last week this is how it all came about that i found out he was in hospital trying to visit him while Paula got the kids and I could get, you know, get over there. It's it's probably about like 30 something miles away. Um, but to get there, I haven't got any time after work now. I work later and um, I don't know what, what um, the visiting times are normally within the home. I don't think it's very late. Um, but yeah, so just a bit, you know, just a bit stressful. So I think I could probably do is going and chilling and having a bath and then I will come back to this thing later and see how we get on um, but yeah so um, I'm going to leave it here and go and chill out I think um, so yeah let me know what you're up to what you're making um, yeah and we'll see what tomorrow brings so, speak to you later